Hey, welcome to another tutorial. This one is on Bubble Us, or B-U-B-B-L dot U-S. As you can see, it's a brainstorming tool. What it really is, it's a concept mapping or concept formation tool. So it allows you to build uh, a visual of a process map, a mind map, an organizational chart, anything that you want to use to demonstrate uh, an understanding of the relationships or inter interrelationships between various concepts. So there's the website to get here. This is a web-based app. And you will go over here and sign in. You'll create an account the first time. You can see you can also sign in with your Facebook account or your Google Plus account if you'd like to do that and sign in that way. I'm going to go ahead and sign in my account. So I've now logged in. So over here to the right we see mind maps that I have either worked on myself or I have shared or have been shared with me. That's another uh, nice part about this tool is I can be creating a mind map. I can share it with somebody else who also has the ability to edit it as well. So just like working with documents in uh, Google Drive, the ability to have uh, sharing happen uh, very seamlessly is a great tool. You just do that up there and we'll show you that in a little bit. But to give you an idea uh, what one of these looks like, I'm going to show you one that was shared by one of my colleagues. And let's... Uh, let's try this one, I think. So this one all, is all uh, about ice cream. This was the, the topic here. So we have ice cream uh, sundae toppings. This is her, her main category there. And then she has offshoots. Notice the color here. So this item here, ice cream toppings and chocolates, are at like the same level. And all of these items underneath are branches, if you will. And I can just click in the box here and actually change the words that are in here. If it more closely explains what I need, I just click off of it. I can actually grab and move things around wherever I need them to be. I can then grab and move a blank one, I can add another blank one to it. If this is the bubble that I'm in right here, if I hit tab, I'm adding another bubble underneath the main topic area. So I have the ability to go out or come, as you can see, a tab here or command enter. Now I'm on a Mac. If you were on a Windows machine it would be control enter. So command enter then gives me one of the green boxes here to uh, have like a brother sister type of a combination. So these are the parents and the green ones become the siblings as you work your way down. And then notice once you take a sibling you can have sub siblings. If, uh, if you can see the color difference here this is a more of a lime green. This one's a little bit more of a different color uh, green. And so you can add things, move down uh, wherever you would like to continue to drop down in those particular flavors. We could say strawberry swirl. Strawberry and cream, maybe some slight variations of flavors here. And again, I can just, all I'm doing is just grabbing, putting my cursor on something, and, and making, that, uh, making that connection. I can also undo if there's various things, if I want to select something. Notice whenever I put my mouse over one of the bubbles, I have a choice to do some adjustments with the background color of that particular bubble so I can get uh, very customizable in what I want to do. I can adjust the size of the text. 
I can actually make a connection. So these arrows that we have here, we can have them go in in any direction. I can pop an attachment in here so I can attach a file that I have either located on my computer or I can actually go get something off the web and load it. And I can also delete something if there's a particular bubble. If I don't need this particular bubble here, I can delete that bubble going that way. I have the ability to save. The default here, if you have it checked, is auto save every two minutes, but it's still a good idea to hit save every now and then since you don't exactly know when that last two minute time frame may have happened. I have the ability to store these in folders, and then again the sharing feature. I have a number of different ways uh, that I can share either with uh, the embed code, I can do a link, I can share and give them editing privileges, or I can share and they just have read only privileges. So it's it's relatively it's relatively easy to do a lot of these particular features. Uh, I'm just grabbing that connect one from the drop down and I'm going to link, you know, test to one of these other oops, one of these other uh, items there. Let's do that again. Okay, we go grab the connect, and there we go. I think what I did is I did not, um, you got to take it right inside the bubble itself and release it, and I actually stopped short so it didn't actually make the, the connection. Okay, so that's all there is to it. It's relatively simple. Uh, it's called Bubble Us or Bubble US, and uh, it's a concept mapping, mind mapping software. You can do things like uh, flow charts, process maps. You can create organizational charts with this. You can show the relationship or interrelationship between a number of concepts. And it's a very easy tool for uh, faculty and students to use to, um, to, show something, uh, to show something visually. So hopefully this was helpful for you.